Hello! This is Iron Defense Dale, and I will be uh, doing a draft rig interview with Boss Baby. Boss Hi, Baby. Thank yeah, thank you so much for having me. I love interviews. The draft rig interview team is amazing, and I love... I always love the opportunity to, to do one of these. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, glad glad to be able to interview you and have you here. Um, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. Yeah, this uh, just just great. Honestly, <laughs> it's all about the vibes, and the vibes have been going very strong. How are you, Dale? I'm I'm doing great. Um, I'm I'm glad to be able to do this. I'm, I find I dry, I joined um, one of the the leagues of, of my own, so that's that's very fun. Um, you're in Crown League. Um, yeah. How do you feel about Crown League so far? I love Crown League. I'm a big, and I, I already like said vibes, and I'll say it a lot more again. Like, I'm a big believer in the vibes, and I think not to uh, not to brag or to talk bad about any of the other leagues, but I think Crown definitely has the best vibes. I think we've got a really good chat, uh, and just like a great group of group of coaches i think i think we're all doing really good there's some really scary competitors too so <laughs> oh yeah for sure i think uh i think that's that can happen in any league just kind of like the scariest competitors always seem to come out on top uh right away um absolutely let's... especially when we aren't like divided up into like like scale divisions yeah for this sure this one so it's a it's a grab bag Oh yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt there. Um, let's uh, let's have you uh, tell us about yourself a little bit more, like your Pokemon experience. How long have you uh, been playing Pokemon, and which gens uh, did you start with? Oh, so my first Pokemon game ever was Pokemon Platinum, and it was amazing, and I really fell in love with it, and I have played every game since, um, except. I guess technically I didn't play black and white, but I did play black and white too. <laughs> so like a weird like skip there, but uh, apart from the games, like my only other Pokemon experience is through Draft Rig, uh, which I think is competitively like <laughs> an advantage and a disadvantage because I'm not very like knowledgeable on the meta. So I think I'm a little bit unpredictable to go against. Um, yeah. Yeah, the I'm also... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I, I also, was... uh, I'm not very as knowledgeable as my opponent. Yeah. Um, I was I was going to bring up uh, y your experience. Um, you know, even if you don't have a ton of competitive experience, that unpredictability can really show up and show out. Um, it seems like your your playstyle is very um, aggressive. Would, would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. I... I hate stall. I think stall is very boring. I hate just sitting here, like twiddling my thumbs, waiting for someone to go. Like, I and I am kind of a hypocrite on that because I do like to run calcs, but uh, I'm trying to get better at being fast. <laughs> but I definitely, I hate stall. Like it, I want to hit and I want to hit hard, and that's that's really just how I've always played. I don't like to set up. I have called myself anti setup many times um i just like to hit <laughs> i think there's something uh beautiful about just being able to have a pokemon just deal the big damage and not have to worry about clicking a setup move or going for necessarily a outright sweep with it right away um so some pokemon can't snowball on their own with like moxie or um Skeletorge has torch song but um, yeah, absolutely. It's still I've really a... just fun to to play that way, and I'm glad you like it. It's amazing. It's it's really really fun. I mean, I think my my Salamence last this last last week got a couple moxies off, and and it was just very thrilling. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Um, let's let's uh, talk a little bit about your uh, your roster here. Who do you consider your ace? Like, like, yeah. Well, who's your ace well, on your team? That's a really good question, and I wish I had like a really easy answer. I 
<laughs> I'm co-coaching this season, and so I didn't have full control over the roster. Um, and my initial draft plan going into this did not look really anything like what we have right now. Um, I would say for my first game of the season, definitely, I would say Salamence. But I would really, really love to say Growlithe. <laughs> Even Totodile, I think that would be so cute. Definitely. Uh, I, I definitely liked how Salamence Salamen worked out, but having having your like mascot or your favorite, like Totodile, Growlithe, I mean, those Pokemon can be sneaky good in a pinch, so gotta watch it's out for them. And I always, I usually draft Spenda. Spen like, I, I almost always draft Spenda, and not having that option is making me branch out into other lower tier mons that are equally as loved and equally cute and so i'm really excited to get to use them in draft that's always uh, a good time is being able to i think that's the beauty of draft it's just being able to branch out and try new things sometimes and oh, yeah, um, absolutely. and make it work for you yeah especially like i think it's so fun to bring something completely unexpected and really just like throw your opponent off their rhythm like like a little bit of mind games i guess but i just think it's really it's worth the effort to like make something unexpected good oh i totally agree it's 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 almost gratifying it's like you could take something that no one would have expected and just make it like do something incredible yeah, absolutely. 100% agree. <laughs> um, let's let's talk about that that matchup. Uh, your week two matchup against Cold Ramen. What did you think of yeah. Cold Ramen's team? Um, I honestly, and this is like, honestly, my bad. I didn't really look at his team when I prepped. I looked at his team for cuteness rankings previous, but I didn't like really like go very in depth into my prep i really just brought who i thought would be really fun but i'm looking at his team right now and like this is a really i should have looked like this is a really scary <laughs> team <laughs> i think low kicks is one of my it it makes me so nervous whenever low kicks switch in switches in and i'm like oh is this thing gonna one shot me with first impression or can I get off by being a little bit cheeky with something else? Like, am I going to die here? <laughs> yeah. So scary. Yeah, no no doubt about that one. Uh, low kicks can definitely bruise. Um, yeah, and I think when I was running Calyx, I think first impression would have just, like, one shot everything I had. Yeah, it's... When, when you have a Pokemon that just ignores Calyx like and just gets the one shot anyways it's it's tough um yeah is is there any team so far that that you really fear in your division that like like actually like more than just well kind of bothers you but f true fear oh absolutely canon canon has been a very strong competitor the entire time i've been in draft rig um, just his abilities as a coach and in draft are terrifying. Like it, he's so good that like, even looking at his roster, I mean, like he's got jacks of speed, like, like that's, that's so scary to me. <laughs> yeah. Deoxys of speed all by itself is just a nightmare for so many teams that, that speed speed kills it really can it absolutely and it gets hazards too like oh man it's wild it's broken that thing is broken um are there any teams that that you're not really afraid of in in crown league right now i think i mean i think everyone has the potential to destroy their opponents. I don't think that there's any like weak coaches or anything like that. I think everyone is really good. I would say as far as like vibes go, not really. I think I'm a pretty, 
I do play very aggressively, but I think I also play... I get really nervous when I see something, like, into the field. If I had to pick someone... I don't know. I'm looking at all these rosters, and they... Everyone has something that I am... Hoping Daizuk will take. <laughs> I think that's, like, a just a beautiful thing. When the, when the league is really like, well-balanced. Everyone has a little bit of sauce on it, and they can all dish at times. It yeah. makes it it makes it, it very interesting. Absolutely, and I it keeps me on my toes. <laughs> For sure. Um, I notice when when you face Cold Ramen, um, there were there were some interesting sets there. Assault Fest, Miascarada. Do you want to talk about that one for a little bit? Yeah. Um, so... I sent my original prep plan to Daizuk and essentially was like, this is what I'm planning on. What, what are your thoughts? Uh, and we had decided to scarf Mouscarada. Um, and I was supposed to change that whole EV set and item and move set. Like that was not the Mouscarada I was supposed to bring. We had decided that like, it was probably not best to go kind of bulky with her. But uh, it ended up working out pretty well that I that I made a mistake. <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> I think... No, I'm not. I'm not too upset about the misprep. But I got into the match and I led Mouscarada because I was like, oh well, she scarf. She's gonna outspeed this whole team. Like no matter what, like she'll be fine. And I pulled up my calcs and I had. <laughs> saw the assault vest and i was like oh no um <laughs> and so my plan in my head i was just like okay well i'm gonna play like she scarfed and just bluff my way through this and hope he just assumes that i'm faster <laughs> and and it, i think it worked out it's yeah, it worked great. <laughs> you also had Overgrow on it, and I think Overgrow did come into play, and it you did get yes. low HP, and you did click Flower Trick with the Overgrow uh, bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Couldn't, it was couldn't have planned that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the completely wrong set, but ended up being the right set, so <laughs> can't complain. <laughs> yeah, rolling with the punches is uh is definitely a, sh a sh talent and strategy in its own right um and playing aggressive and rolling with the punches like you said you you didn't necessarily look at cold ramen's team but you did um look at your own and you prepped within your own roster um that's that's a very viable strategy just kind of put on the blinders and say this is what i want to do i want to impose my own will and that's exactly what you did um Gosh, thank you i yeah i really appreciate that i think that's that's exactly what happened <laughs> Um, let's, let's talk about your next battle. How do you feel headed into your next battle with Arrow? Pretty confident. I think, uh, coming off of a win, I'm feeling really good. I think he's got some heavy hitters. He's got some really good mons on here. Um, and mons that I've used in draft as well, and I know how good they can be. I mean, Blastoise gets a couple shell smashes off. Like, that's pretty spooky. I love Diancie. I've used her in draft and have wrecked havoc with her. So it's there's just a lot of potential. I'm really hoping Rillaboom doesn't come in and ruin my psychic terrain, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's let's just talk about some some more Pokemon stuff. Not necessarily with the league. Um. What's your uh, What's your favorite generation of Pokemon that you play in? Oh, this is going to be a hot take, Dale. My favorite is honestly Scarlet Violet. You know, I completely agree. So <laughs> that's not even a hot take. Scarlet and Violet's I, fantastic. I thought the bugs at launch were really funny. They didn't affect my gameplay. I thought they were just silly. I think the region is amazing. I love an open world. I think the DLC is fantastic. Like... I I really I've never had so much fun playing a Pokemon game as when I no life to Scarlet. Like it's it's fantastic. I play the DLC to this day. I'm still getting my 
working on completing the DLC decks, so it's great. Yeah, it's. The, I thought the DLC was really good too. Um, who's your favorite character from uh, from that game? That from Scarlet uh, and Violet. Oh, what a great question! The Mabostiff. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's My really favorite. great. <laughs> He's so cute. I love feeding him sandwiches. His whole storyline is amazing. I'm a big dog person. Like, I I just love him. <laughs> yeah, the, feeding him the sandwiches. Uh, I don't want to spoil the story for anyone who maybe didn't, but it's it's all about the sandwiches. It is, and it's just. It's so good. It's such a good story. Like, it really, it just really tugs at your heartstrings. <laughs> I agree. Um, would you say that's that's your favorite moment, or do you have any other favorite moments in in your Pokemon experience? Um, I think I think my favorite moment is probably when you first take everyone down. I mean, this is kind of spoilers, but. Uh, when you first go with everyone to Area Zero and you have like that cutscene of everyone riding Coridon down and like flying, I think that is like so cinematic and so just well done. It was it was amazing. I love that. <laughs> and I love Area Zero. I think the concept of it is fantastic and the music is great and it looks really pretty, so Oh yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> I, I think that's got to be up there in top moments for me as well. Um, the music is incredible. Area Zero's it's so theme. Good. I, I, I got chills when I heard it for the first time. Yeah, it's and Pokemon just in general, like as a as a series, has amazing music. I, I listen to Pokemon music on the daily, and the Area Zero theme is it's like top three, easy. Mm hmm. Um. When when you think of Pokemon, are there any uh, nostalgic moments that you can think of, like uh, just things that bring you back? Oh yeah, so um, there's two that come to mind. The first is the third Pokemon movie, the Entei movie. Um, I was obsessed with that movie as a kid. I still think it's the best Pokemon movie. Um, I watched it before I ever played a Pokemon game. Uh, it just was really, really something that I truly loved as a kid and still go back to. So that's like the big nostalgia for me. Um, and then the, and I always have such a, I don't know the name of it, but it's the, like, the short that comes before the movie where Pikachu like goes and finds the uh like the tree in the middle of the city with all the like urban pokemon and it's either two pichus or it's a puzzle and a minin i can't remember but they're like wreaking havoc and pikachu is like trying to teach them how to be good pokemon and that too it's so good it's so cute that is that's fantastic i, I love moments when when it just brings you back and brings you a little bit of joy um yeah. would you let's talk about your favorite pokemon uh can you give me a top five it doesn't have to be in order it just has to be top five favorite pokemon oh i'm so glad that you did not limit this to just one because i would have been here we would have been here for hours <laughs> <laughs> um yes okay top five poplio for sure poplio is my favorite starter of all time um I'm gonna go with Darmanitan. Um, oh, this is hard. Probably Azumarill. So that's three. Mimikyu, four. And number five, Zacian. Ooh. I, I enjoy a lot of those. Um, it's definitely definitely really hard to, to pick favorites, and that's why I did that. Um, oh, wait. I, and also, <laughs> I messed up. Growlithe, Growlithe, Sui and Growlithe is in there too, but I don't know who to take out. 
it's five plus. <laughs> yeah. Five plus Pokemon. Numbers yeah, are irrelevant. None of us know how to exactly. count. Exactly. <laughs> um. Okay, I have one more question for you. Awesome. And it is, what is your favorite Pokeball, and why is it your favorite? Oh, I've honestly never thought about this. Um, I usually just catch whatever the Mon will, like, stay in. Um, <laughs> I use a lot of Quick Balls, but I wouldn't say that's my favorite. Um, I don't know. I guess aesthetically, probably like a Dive Ball. But I'm going to go with Great Ball, because I feel like that's what I use the most. And it's mostly blue, which kind of fits my vibe. Um, yeah, let's go with Great Ball. <laughs> Great Ball. Okay. Well, um, this is that's the interview. Um, I'm very glad you could come out here and do an interview. Um, it was, it was my, my pleasure to, to have you here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Was, thank you so great. much. This was so fun. Like you did a great job. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I. Um. Oh, anything else? Anything else you you wish to say to the audience that may be watching? Um. No. I think that's about it. I mean, it's all about the vibes. All right. It's all about the vibes. Thank you for everyone who, who decides to tune in, and uh, I look forward to doing this again. Thank you very much. Goodbye.